The armed forces of 50,000 people is a lot or not enough. Ukraine is currently fighting for its freedom. And 50,000 service personnel are only a part of the armed forces of this country. And this part are women. What do they do in this war? Why has the number of women in the Ukrainian army increased sharply twice in recent years? And are there women with the rank of general? United 24 will tell about the unique women of the Ukrainian army. Currently, there are many women in the armed forces of Ukraine who are real professionals. There are combat doctors, tankers, gunners, snipers, and even deep-sea military diving instructors among them. More than 50,000 women are in the Ukrainian armed forces, 37 are military personnel. All others work in the army in civilian positions. Right now, on the front line, there are about 5,000 women. There are many officer ranks among them, and not only junior ones. Thus, in December 2021, there were 1,054 women among senior officers. Thanks to their professionalism, they command entire detachments and do it successfully. But what made women decide to go into the military? Here's just one story out of many. Irina has changed journalism and the camera to the front and a machine gun. З моменту, коли починається повномасштабне вторгнення і у нас намагаються забрати країну, війна – це не справа жінок чи чоловіків, війна – це справа громадян цієї країни. Тому будь-хто, хто має достатньо сили, хто має навики, повинен йти її захищати, а хто не має, повинен обов'язково тренуватися і бути готовим замінити тих, хто тут на передовій поранений або загинув. Women really carry out even the most difficult tasks at the front lines. However, is it possible for a woman to get the main army rank, general? Tatyana Ostashchenko started her service as the head of the pharmacy of the military unit. Fast forward to 2021. Ostashchenko receives the rank of brigadier general and the post of the medical forces commander from President Zelensky. This event is unusual for the world as well. For example, the first female commander in NATO countries appeared only in 2018, when Alenka Ermen became the head of the general staff of Slovenia. Speaking of NATO, since 2000 the number of women in military service of Allied forces has doubled, and 85% of NATO member states have opened all positions in their armed forces to women meaning now women can hold any position in the army in any branch of the military, including combat specialties. Precisely as it is in Ukraine, by the way. The Ukrainian armed forces demonstrate considerable gender equality. Thus, as of December 2021, the percentage of women in the army was 22%. This is one of the highest rates in Europe. For now, the percentage of armed forces is not disclosed due to secrecy. However, what is known for sure is that the number of women in the armed forces increased sharply twice in history, in 2014 and 2022. Why exactly these dates is explained simply. In 2014, Crimea was seized, and a hybrid war began in eastern Ukraine. And in 2022, a full-scale invasion took place. 7,000 women joined the ranks of the armed forces right after that. Ukrainian women go to war as they know that this is the way they protect their native land, no matter how hard it is. The situation on the side of the front is difficult. The orcs are going forward, we give them a good advantage. We don't have enough artillery. We compensate our technical abilities, our professional qualities. The forces of good can defeat the darkness and stop the war. However, they need your help. Share this video, subscribe to United24 and make a donation so that the war in Ukraine ends with the victory of the women and men of the country of freedom.